Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cooper's Empty Lifestyle. We're at Abiro Star down here in Cosmo, Mexico. We're gonna be doing some diving with Dressel Dive Shop, and we have some amazing crews down here that are taking us out to do some drift diving. We're gonna be diving right here. We're gonna be getting off on these boats and going out to dive in front of Cosmo. We're gonna be diving off the Aqua One and the Aqua Three boat great crew let's go out and let's go look for some critters enjoy so as we look at this map of Cozumel, Bureau Star where we're staying at is going to be down in the southwestern part of the island we ended up doing nine dives uh, we covered a lot of great footage and, I, and this footage is going to be a mix of all these dive sites that I'm about to tell you we did UCAB, UCAB Wall Paso del Cedro Reef, Paso del Cedro Wall, Punta de Lila, Palancar Caves, Columbia Pinnacles Reef, Columbia Gardens, and we did a wreck, the C-53 wreck, and we also completed one night dive as well. So you'll be seeing a little bit of footage from each of these dive sites. So anybody who has not been to Cozumel or doesn't know much about Cozumel's diving, Cozumel is known for some of the best drift diving in the world. The currents run on almost every reef here, every day, and it usually is about one to two knots, but at times it can get up to six knots. That may sound a bit intimidating at first, but you know, a little bit of practice and everybody will learn and be able to still photograph the marine life with the current and sometimes even people want faster current. With the current flowing around Cozumel, you're gonna get some of the most clearest waters you've ever dove in. That's probably why Cozumel is one of the top ranking dive destinations of the world. Now, as I mentioned, we're diving with Dressel Divers. It's located on the resort we're staying at, a Burrow Star in Cozumel. You can literally do multiple dives a day. I believe you could end up doing two dives in the morning, two dives in the afternoon, and a night dive. So you could max out at five dives a day. They do offer discounts online when you book in advance, but they also offer free nitrox to help you do those multiple dives a day. For this, trip down here I chose to just do uh, two dives a day and then spend the rest of my day on the resort with my family so right after we finish this particular swim through we are gonna have a really cool encounter with a, a lesser electric ray this thing is pretty cool never seen one of these before really great encounter as I'm kind of focusing my uh, video lights trying to get better footage I ended up uh, spooking it a little bit and then a big gray snapper comes down to try to check it out So I'm still determined to try to get a little bit of a decent shot so I can share this experience with you guys. Let's see if I can get a little closer and check it out. This little guy is a cotton wick fish. Here's a couple of black Durgan.
As you can see, Cozumel has a good amount of healthy marine life. Like, I don't really see any die-off. It's pretty packed with coral and sponges and barrel sponges and basket sponges and all the little fish swimming around. Uh, all the dive sites, the majority of them are right in front of the resorts right down there on the west and southwest coast of uh, Cozumel. This is a great location. Fairly inexpensive too, so you can book in advance to help you save more money. Here's a coney fish. If you look closely on the left side where the gill is open, you can see the antennas of a cleaner shrimp that are in there cleaning, helping keep this fish healthy. So one of our dive guides is kind of pointing out this little spot right here. We're just gonna wait for these blue tanks to move out of the way. We have a little octo inside this little den right here, right next to this big sponge. You can kindly of barely just see it moving inside that little den. As I'm looking down into the octo den, I can see one of the eyes of the octo looking back at me. So one of the observations that was made while diving down here in Cosmo was the barrel sponges and basket sponges, instead of them growing straight up and wide, they're growing with the current. So the current is constantly pushing them in a direction and they're growing towards that direction with a more narrow opening. Every once in a while you come across little areas behind the coral that give you a little bit of a break from the current, just like this little group of blue striped grunts are sitting in. Let's go over here and check out this porcupine fish. So this porcupine fish seems to be trying to eat a snail. They do actually eat clams and snails, uh, also sea urchins and gastropods. It is said that porcupine fish can grow up to three feet long. Uh, the species is not believed to be threatened. Sharks and other large fish prey on the porcupine fish, uh, but they have a defense to ensure they're not really much a meal most of the time. They have spines and they also have uh, some poison that they can excrete through their skin. My experience is that the porcupine fish are friendly but yet shy. Here's another example of a little break in the current between the coral where all these French grunts and blue striped grunts gather taking a little bit of a break, strength in numbers, finding safety, just all hanging out. I'm sure if a predator came right in here, they would all just scatter in every different direction. So typically after our two morning dives, we get back in time for lunch. And after lunch, we usually go back in the water, enjoy the view, do a little bit of snorkeling, uh, check out the marine life that is just in front of the resort. And you'd be surprised at all the fish that are just gathering underneath the docks right here. Uh, you have Bermuda Chubs, you got Sergeant Majors, um, a variety of other little grunts and fish down there. All the fish are just hanging out underneath this dock. A little sense of safety or security. Uh, all the little aquatic weeds that are floating on the surface, they kind of swim up and just peck at it and see what they can eat off of it. It was a pretty nice experience. It definitely gave this resort a little extra character. Uh, helps it stand out, you know, that even non-divers, if they want to, they can just snorkel right in front of the resort and enjoy the marine life. Along with uh, random bits of aquatic weed floating by, there's these little coconuts uh, with little sprouts coming out of them. It's kind of neat, you know, to watch them just float by. So uh, basically they'll float by and land on an island and eventually grow into a coconut tree to reproduce. And after you get out of the water, you can just sit on the beach, enjoy the view, watch the sunset, 
listen to the waves crash onto the beach. What an amazing adventure. This was the first real episode of exploring Cozumel down here in Mexico. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Hit the bell notification and click on the next video at the end of this episode to help the algorithm. Thank you everybody for your support. We will see you on the next adventure. Take care. Thank you.